Hey guys, Dale from Old School Rides. I'm out in the Nevada desert uh, alongside the road. I was driving along and uh, we picked up our last vehicle and I thought it was pretty cool the way that we were getting it home. Um, it kind of surprised us when we got there. I didn't take a trailer when I went and looked at this. And uh, I, I gotta tell you, it's been, I've been towing about 75 to 85 mile an hour and it is smooth and easy going. Let me show you what we got here. So this is the vehicle we picked up. It's not one of our normal old school rides vehicles. Uh, this is like a 92 Jeep YJ. And what really got me going about the darn thing, well, you know, we were gonna use it for just kind of tooling around the mountains and stuff, but it came with this tow bar. And you know, I've never really messed with a tow bar. We usually are using a trailer, but I gotta tell you, I jumped in this Jeep, we drove it up to my truck, this bar just was up, it laid down, and you hook it onto the hitch. Um, had a little adapter for my old trailer brakes and stuff for the lights. Well, not trailer brakes, but just lights and things. And bam, this thing was hooked up. You, you go over inside, you shift the transfer case into neutral, um, and leave the steering wheel unlocked with the key in it. And all of a sudden, you've got a tow vehicle. And I'm telling you, this thing towed so smooth and went so nice. Uh, I, at first, I was a little nervous. And I'm coming from St. George, and I came through that gorge. And it just followed me right down the mountain. Not one single problem just coming down the mountain. Uh, you know, 65, 70 mile an hour. Um, and the gentleman before me had a uh, toy hauler trailer and he towed this Jeep behind the toy hauler trailer. And so he, when he got to his destination, he still had a vehicle to tool around in. And now I see him behind motorhomes and stuff and I, and I, I have never really thought that they towed that nice. And uh, you know, and I, I'm really impressed because I'm able to keep up with the speed. It's not feeling awkward. There's absolutely no tongue weight. I've got airbags and stuff on my truck. I, I, I've got them in their lowest setting. There, there's no tongue weight, but it just an amazing little setup. But let, let's talk about the Jeep for a minute. That's another thing that's really awesome for me. So the Jeep itself, 92, four cylinder, okay, five speed. And we got this thing for $3,500 runs and drives um it came with a aftermarket bumper setup for a winch and it's got a badlands winch on it i believe those are from uh harbor freight um it looks like the one of the older styles it doesn't have the electronics but it's got the uh, con where you put, plug the wires in for controls um so the jeep's got aftermarket headlights in it uh and we've got an aftermarket light bar across the front um Looks like he's got some kind of shackles on it, which I'm not a big shackle fan. Um, and decent little tread, lots of tread on the tires, but not a super big tire. This is that early Jeep, the where they had a square headlight and a lot of people weren't really happy with them because um, they were supposed to be you know, like a, the lighter duty, poor man's version or something. But I'm telling you what, this thing tows nice. <laughs> Look at that nice little sticker he's got on it. But uh, interior is great inside. Um, awesome, awesome little Jeep. I, I, I can't say for, for the money. Uh, hooks on the back. Again, he's got tow bar on the for, for this, or the tow hitch, and he's got shackles underneath there. Um, got the, even included the wires for extra additional, for the lights to put on. Um, just amazing uh great jeep to have for running around up in the mountains and stuff we i was up there in utah this weekend and it was all snow country and it was definitely uh winter's coming early this year and i thought you know let's let's have something good to tool around in uh and and so we can keep looking for cars during the cold winter season but um i just i saw that that tow bar just worked out so nice I just wanted to show that to you. Um, let me, and, and the, the four cylinder engine, I don't, I don't think that's gonna be necessarily any bit of a problem. Um, it, it 
seemed to move the Jeep around just fine. Um, I, I, oh, hard top. That's one thing great about this Jeep. This Jeep has a hard top and the hard tops are kind of hard to get and it's got the full door. Some of them have a half door that cuts off here, but this one's got the full door. Um, and then again, the, the, this back window, just the back window piece has been selling for around $300. Um, the hard tops can be anywhere from 600 to 1200. And these darn doors, I've seen them, you know, 300, 600 for a pair, a thousand dollars for a pair. Like it, it's crazy. You know, we, I feel like I got a, a smoking deal on the, on the Jeep, just the top and the doors alone are almost a couple grand, but, uh, the gentleman was, uh, got a bigger toy hauler and he was ready to move on. And we ended up, uh, being able to pick this up from him. He saved it for us. It was super nice of him. Um, I, I had to drive, uh, seven hours to, to get it. And, uh, and I was, was just out here. thought this desert landscape was the perfect backdrop for you guys to, uh, get a quick preview of this of this little jeep that we picked up and and talk to you about that awesome little tow bar uh i mean this thing is set up ready to go uh, I, I can't believe it i'm super happy to have it and uh uh it's uh it's gonna be a nice addition to our uh to our herd of cars hey guys thanks for tuning in hope you enjoyed that uh you know can't say enough about the tow bar. Um, I, I love my trailers. I've got chains cut to length so that I can hook them up and go really fast. But this was the quickest thing uh, I've, I've, I've ever dealt with as far as getting hooked up and towing and, and leaving with another vehicle without another driver. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, hope to stay tuned for our future uh, shows. Give us a shout out. Let us know what you want to see. And uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see if we can accommodate.